Clash of Clanners. This is another episode of YT Clash of Clans, and we're here to show you a good Town Hall Level 8 base. Recently, me, Chief Deer, got a Town Hall Level 8 base, and it's pretty decent in winning battles and stuff. Like, see, I only lost one, and I've won the other two. I've only had it for three battles so far, because I just got it like a day ago. And then the other thing is, um, it's a really good base, so let's get it started. So this wizard tower is guarding most of your uh, le uh, left bottom defenses and it's guarding your gold storage and your dark elixir storage. Very good. And so is this wizard tower. It's guarding top left defenses and your elixir storage and your dark elixir storage. As you can see the range. And this wizard tower is guarding all of your storages and some of your mo your mortar and your air defense, which is pretty good. And yeah, by the way, sorry for not having the screen recorded. It just suddenly stopped working. So then, that's the main little middle part of the base. And then let's show you the archer towers. The archer towers are put in the two corners right here, so they can guard uh, your resources. And the cannons are also put here to guard your resources and to guard the um, wizard tower. The mortars are put in the outer ba outer part, but if you want, you can also swap the mortars out and, uh, for the wizard towers. Which you, uh, it depends what you're doing. If you're doing trophy hunting, put the mortars in the middle. Uh, trying to save your resources, put uh, wizard towers in the middle. And then you get new storages, new gold storage and elixir storage. Usually, just keep those out, so uh, they don't really matter. They can only hold 6k. Yeah, so that's pretty bad. And my army's preparing. Yeah, that's pretty cool, and I'm getting level 5 barb. So this is a really good base for Town Hall level 8. He really tried out. I had it for three battles, and I have tested it in the wild. It is doing really good. I've gotten f about 50 trophies from two battles. Then I lost 11, but... He used really good troops in that one, and a strategy. So let's show you some of the defense we placed now. So as you can see, clan troops came out and started destroying the other archers, but he sprinkled them all around the base, so it's hard for my barb king to get everywhere. So that's when my defenses came into play. They started guarding very well. So the wizard tower splash of damage, doing some damage to those goblins. And then that's about it. He lost that one. And then I'll show you the other one. This one. Okay, so let's get started. So he placed a giant right there and a couple of archers sprinkled and another giant to distract the Barb King. Put a healing spell. Kind of useless place to put it, so kind of a dummy for that. Another thing he did, he didn't bring wall breakers, so that was not smart. Because my defense are usually gonna get it. Yeah, doing some massive damage. The Barb King coming around, destroying those archers. Really good. And there goes a the Barb King. And the healer, healer giant strategy is very good. It, healer giant strategy is very good because the healer from a distance will heal those drag, uh, sorry, giants. And since the air defense that was right there is out, nothing could take that down except the wizard tower, which has really good effect on a healer, and the archer tower, which is currently not in range. So, as you can see, those giants are kept on getting healed by the healer. And those are the last few. The healer is pr doing a pretty good job holding them. But I think he surrenders about now. Yeah, see, the healer couldn't do anything. So the healer had to go away. And then let's show you the loss. This was kind of a humiliating one after I saw it. I was like, what? So it basically uh, told me how to put my defenses. Well, so you can see the base. Put a bunch of giants there. 
that was a pretty good strategy because again healer healer giant strategy he uses again but this time there were higher troops like level five troops and he had like a level one healer i think don't know so they were level five troops that was pretty good and yeah so they're just going around taking out the outside going into the middle now pretty impressive <sighs> so see that was the main thing the giants they kept on going around attacking while those two were backing the giants up but then the archers and the barbs went away from the giants so the, ar the giants basically died and then the barbarians came and they started dying and then he puts in a couple of goblins kind of useless and there it goes. Um, yeah, so this is a really good base. Only had it tested three times, but it's doing really good. So you guys should maybe try this out. You guys might get a lot of trophies from this. It's been tested in the wild, so it's test approved. So it's pretty good. And see you later. I'm going to send another video in like about an hour or so. Have a bunch coming up. See you guys. Bye.